In our final session of Luke's Gospel, chapters 19 through 28 through the end of chapter 24, we highlight two great themes in the passion narrative of Jesus, his final week of life on this planet. One is the rejection that Jesus experienced by Israel's leaders uh, once he approached and entered into Jerusalem. The second is the vindication uh, through his suffering and through his resurrection. The theme of rejection is highlighted by four events. One, the triumphal entry. Two, the temple cleansing incident. Three, the tragic rejection in confrontation with Israel's leaders. And finally, the theme of the times of the Gentiles that Luke highlights, which becomes the result for the nation of Israel of their rejection. The triumphal entry of Jesus is recorded in the quotation from Psalm 118. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The irony is that same psalm will be quoted to talk about the rejection of Christ. The one who comes in the name of the Lord is also the one who suffered because he was the Lord. In the temple incident, we have the cleansing of the temple a second time in the life of Christ. John chapter 2 highlights the first one, and the synoptic gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John highlight this second one. In John's Gospel, Jesus says, Don't make my father's house a house of merchandise. In this one, he says, You've made my father's house a den of thieves. Life around the temple has not gotten better throughout the ministry of Christ. In fact, it has further declined. And therefore, the cleansing of the temple and the cursing of the fig tree become Jesus' symbols to the nation that they are not where God wants them to be. The confrontation with Israel's leaders highlights the tragic rejection by those who should have known. Uh, they were the custodians of God's scriptures, and yet they had obscured the message of the gospel from the very people they sought to lead. And Jesus has to confront them, and he condemns them for it, for missing who John was, his forerunner, and for who he is as the Son of God. Luke's record of the Olivet Discourse highlights the resultant judgment that will happen because of Israel's rejection. In fact, there's a statement that's made that Israel missed their day of God's visitation. And therefore, the times of the Gentiles, that are also called the days of vengeance, will continue. The times of the Gentiles began in 586 with the fall of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem going into the hands of Gentile leaders. And it will not finish until Messiah comes at his second advent in the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our Lord and His Christ. Chapters 22 through 24 record the theme of God's vindication of the Son of Man. He is the one who suffers and so identifies Himself in that suffering with humanity as the Son of God who became the Son of Man. Uh, he did what no other man could do, and that was die for the sins of humanity. And God also raised Him from the dead. And that vindicates Jesus as the message for the world, Jew and Gentile alike, who need to come to the Savior. Luke records the Passover supper in chapter 22, uh, 1 through 38, in order to show that the Son of Man was the innocent, pure, spotless Lamb of God, through whose blood and whose body the new covenant would one day be established. Luke records the agony of Jesus in Gethsemane, the Garden of Gethsemane, to show the submission of His will to that of the Father. The arrest and trials of Jesus were recorded to demonstrate the unjust accusations which were charged against Jesus as the Son of Man. Luke especially, among the four Gospels, highlights the innocence. Three times in Luke's Gospel, the innocence of Christ, one not deserving death, even Pilate, the Roman procurator, he says that Jesus has done nothing deserving of death. He says, I find no fault in this man. So Luke, as one who highlights the ministry of Jesus as the Son of Man, highlights his innocence and therefore his competence to die on behalf of those of us who are sinful. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ was recorded by Luke to show that the death of Christ is the ground of forgiveness for all. It's the means by which one finds hope for all eternity. The resurrection of Christ was recorded by Luke to authenticate the Son of Man as the glorified Christ who both fulfills the scripture and provides the theme 
and the message of salvation for all the nations. Listen to the final words of Jesus in the Gospel of Luke. Now he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things which are written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And he opened their mind to understand the Scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that Christ should suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending forth the promise of my Father upon you, but you are to stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. In Luke, he is the Son of Man who has come to seek and to save that which was lost, whether Jew or Gentile, the message is for all. 